Hello, I greet all of you in love. I'm Bishop Joseph Warren Walker III, the presiding bishop-elect of the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship International. And on behalf of our presiding bishop, Bishop Paul Sylvester Morton Sr., the bishop's council, and all the tiers of leadership, we wish the best upon all of God's children. As we commemorate the life and the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King, I felt it important to take a few moments to raise our consciousness as my own has recently been raised. I want to encourage, explain, empower, and prayerfully enrich the lives of those of you who will hear this message. Dr. King's life was one of selflessness, one of great sacrifice. His life personified the essence for the pursuit of the beloved community. It was his dream that all would have equal privileges, opportunities, and a seat at the table. As the next presiding bishop of the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship, I would like to humbly thank a group of extraordinary, gifted, brilliant, and passionate women who have helped me to see the need to have a greater sense of spiritual and social responsibility to empower those whose voices have been historically silenced by the church. I would further like to thank the same group of women who enlightened me about the plight of those whose voices have been historically stifled in the church. I now more than ever realize that even though our intentions as male Christian leaders may be noble, the images that we project can often be painful to the women who have so often been the backbone of our churches. I, as a man in Christian leadership, also recognize not only images, but the nomenclature and labels of identification used in the church can separate us by gender, class, and church size. And I deeply appreciate their recent powerful reminder of this reality. You know, during the civil rights movement, there was a similar tension that existed with Ella Baker, whose voice was stifled as she attempted to raise awareness when she was concerned that male leadership was insensitive to this very same issue. She had issues with male privilege in leadership and asserted that the positions were given and not earned. This created a schism that history should never repeat. As the next presiding bishop of the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship International, I see this as a responsibility and acknowledge my own missteps. And I am making an intentional effort to change this. We in full gospel are blessed by the vision God gave our leader, Bishop Paul Sylvester Morton Sr., over 21 years ago to repair the breach, to create bridges, to heal the wounded and the brokenhearted, to create an atmosphere for oneness and healing and literally change a generation. As full gospel, it is essential that we experience this paradigm shift, and it is important that we remove anything that creates exclusion. I, in the imitation of Christ, seek to embrace all who live holy and honor God's word. Howard Thurman once said, I am convinced that it is possible to develop a religious fellowship which is so unifying in its quality that the barriers originally separating its members one from another will gradually disappear, leaving in their stead a new sense of community." Unquote. We in Full Gospel acknowledge difference. We welcome diversity. We affirm that in this dispensation, God has anointed both genders, all ages, all races, and the Holy Spirit gives gifts to each of us to profit all of us. So let us use our gifts to bring God glory and benefit each other. Those who are interested in partnering with us to advance our kingdom assignment, join us. Pray for us. Dr. King's life's work dealt with the issues of equality and morality. On issues of social ills and injustices, Dr. King stated, my morality cannot be divided, and I too realize that justice must be for all. King further stated, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. I personally believe oppression on any pew is oppression on every pew. So I welcome everyone most particularly women of faith who are integral to our mission. I'm open to a dialogue surrounding issues of equality in the church. I've already begun to reach out to seek counsel of the many women already in leadership positions in full gospel, and I will continue to reach further. 
And in the spirit of self-reflection and self-critique, I am encouraged to move forward with intentionality, humbly welcoming our distinguished women leaders into the ongoing process of shaping our collective vision for a paradigm shift. One of the tenets of full gospel and the lessons that I've learned from our leader, Bishop Paul Morton, is to be open to positive change. This shift should lead all of us toward the work of positive change. And so I invite other leaders in the academy, community, advocacy organizations, and spiritual leaders to join me as we seek to find common ground together through dialogue and discussion. I believe openness and candor can only do us good. Lastly, those who join me in the first recruitment effort of the SHIFT platform came at my invitation and are impassioned leaders who share my heart, and we all welcome the opportunity to dialogue and gain a greater sense of understanding of the plight of those who have been marginalized in our churches and communities. And so as we as a nation remember the life of Dr. King, let us all strengthen our resolve. Let us all be challenged. Let us all be cognizant of our responsibility to maintain an open sense of dialogue that propels us toward a greater sense of community. Let us all, as Christian leaders, be stewards of the ability to change and foster environments that welcome all God's children to the table. And so I welcome all of you. If you're interested in more information about the SHIFT platform, then please contact me information is right here on your screen. Perhaps you're interested in connecting with Full Gospel, joining this awesome fellowship. Regardless of your church size or your denominational affiliation, you are welcome to the table. Or if you're interested in further discussion, or having dialogue around issues of equality within the church and the community, contact me. The information again is right here on the screen. May God bless you and may God keep you, is my prayer.